Ink Ribbon. Hello, everybody. Ah, I just wanted to have a nice, relaxing Let's Play today. Finally getting around to this mod by the amazing Aiden Watkins. I think this might have been a Christmas thing, but I'm a little late. But either way, I wanted to try it out. So let's play Resident Evil 2 Deep Freeze, or Resident Evil Deep Freeze. Let's just, let's just play. I love these mods so much. It's like a nice bowl of Resident Evil soup. You're going in alone on this mission. Investigate the facility and report the situation. Good luck. Alright, who am I? Is this hunk? Like in the backgrounds. I'd really love to see the process of how these backgrounds are made or found. A soda pop, please. Wow, look at all that snow. It's locked. A diamond is etched under the keyhole. Okay. Oh, here's another door. It's locked. A heart is etched. All right. So we're doing the precinct keys thing. It's locked. October 2nd, 1998. So this is after Raccoon City. Oh. <laughs> if I had just read one second more. Did you hear that squeak? in here. It's a sexy lady calendar. Okay. I don't know where this takes place, but I would love to make a game or play a game that takes place in Antarctica. Kind of like uh, if you ever played D2 on the Dreamcast. I think Antarctic is such a good setting for so many types of games. Get off me. Okay, really nothing else in here? All right. Bad smell in the refrigerator. Then you gotta throw the whole place away. Okay, spade key, so it is the precinct keys. I'm the only one who plays Resident Evil the way I do, where you just systematically go through every door, like eliminating, like, like I have to go through every door in one area at a time. These zombies are not dressed for the cold. Ooh, Magnum ammo. Oh, just kidding. It's not. Made you look. 
Ooh, the shed key. I bet that's that door that just says that it's locked. A large safe, there's no keyhole. What the heck? What the gosh dang heck is going on here? We're out here in the freezing cold. All right, let's see if I'm right about the shed key. I have used the shed key, ha. Huh. Won't you take me to the shed? I always feel bad having to kill the dogs. I'm sorry. A bowl of dog food. There's something in it. Someone try to feed a key to the dogs. It's in the shape of a spade. Ah, gotcha. Now if I can remember where that was. I don't think it was over here. I think it was in that little kitchen area, which is over here. I think. Yes, ha. Gold star. Okay, I know I'm not the only one hearing those sounds. Sounds like a little cute animal or something. But if it's Resident Evil, it's probably not a cute little animal. That is a lot of snow. It's like the deep freeze that just happened recently. It was crazy. It was just snowing and snowing and snowing. But not as bad as Buffalo got it. If anyone lives in Buffalo, I am so sorry and I hope you're okay. Backup generator. The power has been activated. Okay. Cool. Cool, ya. Yeah. Ya yeah, und power. Is this a ladder? Oh, that's how I came down. Durr. Computers. I don't remember seeing a computer. I think there were computers at the beginning when I walked in with the soda machines. The computer's broke. Never mind. And this is just the helipad. Never mind. Computer? There we go. Ooh, power has been restored. The electronic lock for the safe has been disabled. Ah. Key card. <laughs> that safe looks like a mini bar. Like there's like Kit Kats and some Diet Cokes or something. to do that. Okay, so they're not the precinct keys. They're just kind of like a, a nod to them. Oh, God. That's my purse. I don't know you. I look forward to manually reloading my submachine gun because that's a very rare thing in Resident Evil. Alright, so even though it says key card, if I examine it, it's in the shape of a heart. Okay. Fever gun, but itchy hungry, so eat doggy food. Itchy tasty. How did that end up over here? Is that evidence? Yeah. 
What's behind door number four? I feel like I have a lot of ammo, like something's coming. Hmm. Pressing immediate evacuation, recommend facility be purged. Affirmative rendezvous at the helipad, over. All right, back to the helipad. I guess we're gonna GTFO. Everybody crap your pants. Cha -cha -cha. Oh god, I knew I had too much ammo. Jeez. Get up! Manually reload. Move. What the? <sighs> Fine. I'll reload from the inventory. Oh, come on. I don't want to die. Come on. Really? Oh, God. I should have run out onto the helipad. Okay, now let's, for you guys, just fast forward <laughs> to doing all that all over again because I never saved. Like I said, even though this was like an ice-themed one, it was like a nice bowl of Resident Evil soup. We all just... We love these mods, don't we? Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward, because I can't skip this. Yay! A rank. Oh yeah. 
But it'd be cool if we got one of these screens every time we did anything in life. Like after doing the dishes, it's like, here's your rank. <laughs> I feel like it'd be a lot more fun to do like chores and stuff. Ooh, I don't think I'll be able to use that. Okay, well there you go. That was Resident Evil 2 Deep Freeze. I'm glad I got to play it. There's another one that I got a hold of. It's a survivor mod, uh, like the prison or something, but I think it was actually a Japanese mod that got translated, which is crazy because now we're translating mods, but I'll play that one at some point. And coming up soon are 50 facts about the nest. So stay tuned for that, and I'm going to end this here. But until next time, I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon.